Hey guys and welcome back to Factorio AB Plus. I am joined as always by Arumba. How's it going, man? It's going well. How are you doing? I can't complain apart from the fact that my breakfast is entirely liquid this morning and not even in a good way. <laughs> liquid bachelor breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what what's what's the story? What are you what are you drinking for breakfast? Oh, so I'm doing um I'm doing a series called uh, Get Slim with Stijo, where I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm taking like my viewers with me. Oh. And um, yeah, and for it, I, I'm testing out some, you know these, I don't know if you've heard of Soylent, it's like a, a meal soybeans? replacement shake. Yeah, it's like soybeans basically, right? Well, it's, it's basically, <laughs> they call it Soylent because uh, I don't, I can't even remember the fucking name of the movie, comment section will fill you in, but um, it's basically a movie where the like melt people down and make food and that's how they feed everyone is on like people and they call it Soylent Green. But yeah, that's where they got the name from. But uh, it's basically like they, they split it up between three shakes that you're supposed to have each day and it gives you literally the RDA of everything like vitamins, minerals, like carbohydrates, proteins, literally everything. Um, but it's really boring because it's just a fucking drink. So I just have like half a one at breakfast. Mm. But yeah, so I'm trying. I'm trying that out for the series anyway. Um, they taste all right. I mean, it does get a bit boring because like I like mastication. It's <laughs> mastication, <laughs> not masturbation. I Although know. I, like I know the difference. I just think it's cool <laughs> that you use that word. That's awesome. that's that's a good word. I was I, I had fun with that when I was a child as well. T C T Joe. I would make fun of people. I'd say, "Are you a masticator?" <laughs> and they'd be like, "What? <laughs> no, I'm no, not." No, not me. <laughs> like, really? You never masticate? Never, never. <laughs> <laughs> you were such a dick when you were a kid. <laughs> I know. I thought it was the coolest thing when I was like, I don't know, I was probably like fifth or sixth grade, and I learned what the word was, and I was like, "That is so cool. I can trick people with this. This will be fun." <laughs> uh, that's so, pretty good, though. Uh, I just found out I accidentally completely shut down oil for. A week or two? I don't know. I, I did the auto barreling instead of having it all piped through, and I evidently forgot to set the requester chest to actually <laughs> request the barrels of multi-phase oil, so that's why there's no nice. oil. Nice one. Which might explain why we're not getting much science done. Um, do you have any having... sticky notes, any plans? Like, what are we supposed to be doing right now? Do you know? Uh, I am um, basically watching to find out what's wrong with my uh, auto thing. Oh, right, right. That's right. I lost you. You're basically done with this campaign. You're just going to play with that thing all game, right? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess I should have known. I shouldn't have ever mentioned that it was a thing that could be done. But I think we did talk about this between episodes, like at the end of the session last week. Uh, did we do it in the actual episode, though? Did we show how to make the uh, that filter thing that you're standing next to? The belt cleanser, like the thing that, that only filters oh, it's shit. Uh, exclusion. How do you explain this? Thing? I don't think we did. I hope we did. If we didn't, it's really easy to explain. We just cover it in like 30 seconds, right? No, we definitely did yeah. this after we stopped recording. Because I remember we, we normally have to either record another episode or one of us has to run like really quick. And last week was weird because we both just kind of hung out for an extra half hour doing nothing. <laughs> which is really odd. But yeah, so we made this thing. Uh, I had mentioned it a couple times in passing over the last couple campaigns just saying that I saw this thing on reddit I know it can be done but I don't remember how and so we finally just decided to figure it out I don't know why why do we need it you needed it for your chest that's right yeah you, for this this chest here you wanted to clear out your uh, storehouse when it has the wrong stuff in it otherwise it'll fill up yep and so you go oh fuck <laughs> uh, all right so basically what we've got here is the um, the belt will stop if anything is greater than zero, so if anything that it finds within the belt is greater than zero, the belt will stop. Like so. So, basically the thing that you want through, you set to a, neg a really high negative signal, so that it knows that that's not going to be greater than zero, regardless of how much is going through it. Well, technically, um, you, you don't have to set it to a negative, like a really high negative, just needs me like could just 10. Be, yeah, negative you only 10 or something. Yeah. eight items on the belt at a time, so yeah, go Go, you go, sorry. <laughs> um, and you'll see it'll just stop whenever it receives literally any anything that's not predetermined. So it's basically a way that you can get 
everything but what you're asking for. So it's like a a blacklist or a white yeah, a white list. Sorry. So, so you yeah. set the white list on the constant combinator. And, and the great thing is all. it just it stops the belt. So it's absolute perfect, one hundred percent. It will never let the wrong item through. Yeah. And uh but but our use case for it is actually not to clean belts, it's because you wanted to uh, you're, you're like changing the recipe and some, it's, sometimes it's changing too fast or like there's too many requested things or something and it, it just fills up the chest and so you needed to filter it somehow. Filter a request. Yeah, well you can see that the storehouse is completely full right now. And I didn't want... Why is the storehouse full? You broke. Because that's not getting... Um, because that's set to, to sulfuric acid when it shouldn't be. Because this isn't... Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is a thing that I was wanting to to change. So, look, these check valves are all fully ferric chloride solution. Mm -hmm. But the the pump has some sulfuric acid in it. So it won't pump it out. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a, a, a good system for this. I think, Stijo, that you're probably going to have to do this. I, I have an alternative sol solution for you. Okay. You know when you want to switch recipes, right? So what you'll do is you're going to control a pump that's going to force fluid away from your crafting thing. And then, <clears throat> as stupid as it is, you're just going to have to have a huge long line of these things with every fluid. And then the pipe will just pump it and it will go because each of these things is going to function like a, it's a negative layer or negative level. And mm. the fluid will drop into it and clean the pipe. But you, you, there's no way that I know of to clear out point 0.1 fluid from the pump, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you run like a huge row of every fluid type uh, into flare stacks and or clarifiers, depending on what they require, which we'll have to painstakingly test annoyingly because some of them are just different for reasons. Uh, that that might work better than what you're why, seeing happen. Why is that flare stack decided that it wants to make? <laughs> okay. So they should just actually, you don't even need to program these, right? They'll just one by one, they'll pick up a fluid and then they'll decide, is it? What is it? It's got an icon for the... I think Angel's fucked something. Yeah, we yeah I feel like, I feel like I'm wasting an awful lot of... Well, you want a pump though. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. It shouldn't just be open. You you do need a pump here. You need, you need your condition that says, okay, I've changed recipes, the wrong fluid's in there, you need to clear them. Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna waste a ton. So let's shut that off for now. Now you just need to decide, okay, when when do I actually open the gate to clean the pipe out? Right, okay, so do what I had before then. Mm-hmm. And now you're not wasting any. Exactly. And I think you'll probably still want to have, like, a, a string of uh, clarifiers as well. I don't know how many fluids you're going to be setting up in the system. How many do you have set up right now? Uh, just three. What did I actually have set here? I think it's probably better to do a big long line than it is to do. Um, have them side by side because that way, hopefully, the first like, will take the first bit of fluid and then the next will take the next bit of fluid. Okay. Do you mean like that? I'm not oh, sure. Oh, it was so much easier with Bob's pumps. Well, we could we could turn them on. I think you mentioned it, but then I, I hey I said before we started recording like hey isn't there something we were supposed to get or do and I don't remember what it is and you're like well maybe we get Bob's pumps. What do, what do they do different? How are they different? Um, well Bob's pumps when you change because they work with crafting combinators, when you change your recipe it just dumps all of the fluid that's in it. So instead of having to do this, it just disappears. It. Too bad. Um. Okay, so you just have the actual pump right up adjacent to the assembler instead of having any mm -hmm. pipe. Yep. I was, I was just going to say, though, it would be... Can, can the crafting combinator not have, like, just a checkbox to, to discard attached fluid boxes, but not actual dis items? Because you can't put the fluids into the passive or active providers. Actually, it probably already does that. It already kills the fluid, doesn't it? Yeah, but when it changes when it changes recipe, it just kills the fluid. It just discards it. So it would be cool if it could, it could also do the, uh, the picker... Attached fluid box cleanse command as well. Yeah, that would be cool. Hey, Nexila. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
it'd be great if you could do that. Give us, just give <laughs> us an item. Just give us an item that just clears out any... Yeah. Well, I mean, we're not environmentally savvy or anything. I feel like we should just be able to dump the ferric chloride solution on the ground if we want to, right? A little bit of oil yeah, won't hurt anybody. Pour, pour it everywhere. Um, I forget what I had here. Okay, so... Let's see. So the first two flare stacks filled up with some sulfuric. I wonder if maybe a little bit more spacing would be better, or if there's a better uh, way to, to place the pipes so that they... Because the fluid's going to flow really fast. Maybe we actually want like a size 20 pipe so that it flows maybe a little bit slower, and they don't. Because you don't want to have... Mm. If they all fill up with sulfuric acid, and then you switch recipes, and they're all full of a little bit of one thing, they can't clean. And Yeah, you're screwed. These two at the end have a little bit of ferric. The third one has a little bit of ferric. The fourth one has a tiny bit of ferric. So what we actually want is... Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. This could work. This is this this might work. Let me know if you think this is good or not. We'll uh, find out in a second. Okay. If the fluid that we're trying to vent is wrong, the pipe will fill up. Ah, yeah. That's a good shout. And if it's not, then it'll vent. So now we just need to... Let's just be safe and replace them all, and then clear every pipe just to set the system proper. That didn't work at all, by the way, because when I did that, it forced the fluid back into the pipe adjacent to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we deleted everything. Okay. Next test! And I'll do the same thing on this one over here, I think. Uh, overflow. Um, right, so I want... I thought I, I thought I made something that worked with these. Also, Angel... Uh, could you, could you please not let fluids that are wrong go into things that can't use them? Like, clarifiers taking ferric chloride, even though ferric chloride, I think, needs to get burned. It's really weird. I like how we both just kind of, like, talk to Angel like he's in the in -game. voice cam comms with us right now. Yeah. Like, just, just like, hey, Angel. <laughs> Can you do this for me? Just simple, you know, just, hey, yeah. Oh, did you actually craft those stone pipe on hand? Wow. I had to make it look pretty. Yeah, well, now I gotta switch over the other ones. Oh, and they don't reach very far. Yuck. I mentioned um, a couple days ago while we were in between recording sessions that uh, the Marathon server that I'm running has AAI on it, and I'm showing you some of the stuff I was working with. You seem like you're interested in that. But you're busy with this, so you'll have to just mess with the combinators on this one for now. <laughs> but yeah, I got a guy named Joe and a guy named Sam. I name, I name my miners and haulers because I do. And uh, they're doing the tree thing. I, I, can't fig I just can't figure out vectors again. I think you have to, like... Don't you have to, like, take the, the vector of a vehicle and the vector of its destination and like add them or subtract them from each other or something to actually get the correct one. I don't, I don't know. I can't figure it out. So I'm still using point to point, which is really slow and dumb. Miner doesn't do a very good job chopping down trees that way. Anyway, you're distracted. So I'm just talking about AAI for no reason. <laughs> I am distracted. I'm trying to think, uh, I'm trying to find a better way to do what I want to do here. But that it doesn't is... seem to be... That's, that's factorial. Trying to yeah. find a better way to do what I'm doing here. Oh, that's not what I want. I want... Gosh darn it. Every item in the game, you should just be able to shift left click and have it go to your auto trash. Every item. How can I... I want to take... I want to take an input signal and... God, your color blends in too much. Okay. Take an input signal and... Make it... 
one. Okay, that that's not very hard to do, isn't it? You just say each divided by. Oh, you can't do each divided by each. Um. Okay, then you would use, in that case, instead of arithmetic, you'd probably use a decider. And you would just say... What's what's the condition that's always true? Um, each greater than zero output. Anything. Yeah, if a, if right. anything is greater than zero, output each... Output everything at one. There. That flattens the signal down to one. I'm sure I had literally the same thing before. Yeah, because if it's getting a signal, then it will pass it through as one. Otherwise, it doesn't get a signal and doesn't do anything. So... Uh. That should be off, because the signal it's getting is... If anything... You got anything. There is a signal that's not two. It's getting it's getting one M, one sulfuric barrel, one... Of course. You need everything equal to, or... If everything does not equal to... There we go. Although it's now got... Well, why is it getting all the other stuff? Why don't you just put a combinator in to filter out the fluid signal or no that have to be dynamic crap yeah that doesn't it doesn't really matter well how, i mean the pump is stupendously fast couldn't you is there a way to check when the recipe changes and then you could just have that trip the pump for five seconds or two seconds or something just have it run for a second why is the pump going now oh okay because it wants ferric chloride okay but now your ferric chloride is not getting So why is that pump not pushing that ferric chloride where it needs to be? Do I need like a pump here? I don't know, that's really weird. Why? I mean 0, 0.0. As far as I know, that's 0. <laughs> Can we just say it's 0 and not 0, 0.0? It really should. Well, it should all be... It's probably 0.01 or something, but... Surely the pump should be pushing that towards the other pump. Or is it something to do with the fat pipes? Should we go with skinny pipes here? Yes. There you go. It is something to do with the fat pipes. Fat pipes bad. Uh, okay. All right. We knew fat pipes were bad. Also, we only had this fat pipes because we we thought maybe that would help. But we, we don't need that anymore. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Stupid fat pipes. Now I've got a load of fat pipes for no reason. Ziki, destroy them, zapper, zap zap. Zip, zap or you just zap. give them to the, the robots and they they take them off to... Waste the... storage space? Yes, exactly. No, I'm going to zap mine. I'm going to find yours and zap them too. <laughs> just request them. I'm not going to request well, your trash. That... That's gross. Why did that change? Is it not working again? Or is it no, working now? No, it's just taken... Something has taken the requester. Um... Oh, oh it, must be, it must be Express Transport Belt. Damn, this system doesn't work. Oh. That's right, because it only overflows 80%, it only overflows 20% of the pipe. 40% or 80% of the pipe is still in there and it's blocking the rest of it now. Oh, it will always keep. 40% or 80%, yeah. Uh. <sighs> We could have a... Wow, this is really complicated. I think we should just get your bob pipes. Bob pumps. Yeah. I give up. It's too much work. So, I'm gonna go figure out why Kovrex enrichment is not happening. And I'm gonna... Say that we need to just get a new... Toggle. What are we doing? We're gonna toggle... Bob... Pumps back on, or was... Is that not part of the pack, or like, why don't we have it? Uh, we've got the pumps, we just don't have the recipes. The recipes aren't available just now. 
How come? It was just a check box in startup or something that we turned off? I don't know, it might be like something to do with the auto barreler because you were saying that you didn't want, if we've got an auto barreler, what's the point in having? I feel like that might be something that Angel just disables altogether when he's when you're using Petrochem. We might have to tweak the pack or something, like modify the files yeah. themselves. I'm oh, sorry, we can have a look at that. Basic module board, lax phenolic boards. Phenolic board production is tied up because of what? That's the only thing stopping signs right now is phenolic boards. It might it might just come down to the oil issue. Hey, yeah. I, I accomplished something. No, it's not. It's the freaking resin. It's wood. <laughs> we need Help. wood. All right. Wow. Anyway, it looks like we've uh, actually run out of time in this episode. All right, cool. All right, you brought us in, so you go. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stu, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you in a bit.